Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good Hello. Good Hello. How are you? Fine. And you? Good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your Thank day? You. Did, fine. Okay. Good. <clears throat> did you go to work or did you stay home? Work. Work. Okay, so some of you go to work, some of you stay home, so that's how it is. All right, what is today's date? Today is 14 July. Okay, good. It's 14th of July. What year? 2020. 2020, exactly. Very good. All right, so let's begin. Um, as in every class, we start with a review of the previous session. So can you remind me what we did yesterday? What was the main topic yesterday? Do you remember? Yes, teacher, I studied. And uh, wish good, and you have to if you want to do or say a sentence in using wish, you have to the normal for the wish, but the another sentence is in, in the past, in the past tense. Very good, that's a very good observation. That when you are using when you're expressing wishes, you must use the simple past form as a compliment. So um, you say, I wish I were in New York. I wish I didn't have to stay home that long. I wish I didn't have as many bills to pay. So the wish that you're expressing needs to be in the simple past form. That is correct. Okay, so let me show you this. Um, okay, do you remember this document? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so remember, it doesn't matter if your wish is positive or negative. Uh, the complement needs to be in the simple past form. So I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had my own apartment. I wish I could move out. So we also said that um, we, we use the simple past form, but there is one observation that was, does not exist when you're talking about wishes. So you use were with all personal pronouns. So, um, any questions about this topic yesterday? No. No? Okay. So, we also um, did an exercise that I told you guys is gonna, it was going to be our first exercise now. Uh, new share right here. All right, can you see the sentences? Yes, the check. Yes. Okay, I don't have a car. So how would you say it if you wish uh, you had a car? How would you say that? I, I don't have a car. car. I wish I would have a car or I wish I had a car. The two options are good. Yeah. I can't play the piano. How will you transfer that into a wish? I wish I could play the piano. Good, I wish I could play the piano, or you could also say, I wish I played the piano. Very good. I'm at work. I wish at work. I wish I were in the house. I wish I were in the house or I wish I didn't have to work. 
So if that is your case. Okay, what about number four? It's winter. Imagine that you don't like winter. How will you transfer that information into a wish? It's winter. I wish it, I were in the winter. I so wish, where? okay. So if you don't like winter, you will say, I wish it weren't winter. Or let's say you love the summer. You said, I wish it were summer. So you can make your wish positive or negative. I wish it were summer or I wish it weren't winter. What about number five? I'm ill. I'm ill. I wish I had, I were health. Healthy. I wish I were healthy. Very good. How do you say me gustaría no estar enfermo? I wish I weren't ill. Good. I wish I weren't ill. Good. What about number six? I don't have new shoes. I don't have new shoes. I, I wish I had new shoes. Very good. I wish I had new shoes. Simple. Very good. What about number seven? I can't afford to go on holiday. I wish I can't afford to go on holiday. One more time, please. I wish can. I could. I could afford to go on holiday. Good. I wish I could afford to go on holiday. Very good. What about number eight? I don't have time to read lots of books. Mm -hmm. I wish I had time to read lots of books. Good. I wish I had. Nice. What about number nine? I can't drive. I wish I can drive. I could I drive. Wish. I wish I could drive. Or I wish I drove. Either one. And number 10, my laptop is broken. I wish uh, a new laptop. I wish I have got, got up there. I don't okay. know. Okay. Yeah, I wish I got a new laptop. Yes. How do you say me gustaría que mi computadora no estuviese arruinada? Uh, I could warrant my laptop not broken. Okay, uh, one more time, Juan Jose. I wish uh, I wish my laptop not broken. Were not broken. Were well, not is broke. Yes, or weren't. Good. All right, nice. Um, any questions about these 10 um, exercises that we have here? Are we okay so far? Yes, teacher. All right. All right, so let's go to something else. Let me show you this. Uh -huh. <clears throat> All right, let's do some reading um, comprehension exercise. All right, do you see the conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, where is this conversation? Where is this conversation? In a movie theater, in a... Maybe in a cafe. Uh-huh, in a cafe, okay. All right, what are they doing? They drink Talk, coffee. Talking. Okay, they're talking, they're drinking coffee, right? Um, you see the guy with the glasses? What is yeah. he wearing? What is he wearing? A suitcase. Um, um, he's uh, wearing a suit. suit. Yes, what color is the suit? The black suit. Okay, what about the guy with the baseball hat? What is he wearing? 
she wearing a pair of jeans? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. A t-shirt and... and a cup. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. Um, any questions about the picture? Okay, so I need two volunteers to read the conversation. I need Brian and I need Terry. Remember, when we're practicing reading, uh, we have to respect punctuation. Uh, what happens when you find a comma? What are you supposed to do? What is the function of a comma? Pause. Okay, you make a pause. What happens to your intonation when you see a question mark? So when you see a question mark, you're supposed to change your intonation and, and give the, what you're reading a question intonation. And what happens when you see a period? What are you supposed to do? You take more time to continue oh. the, the sentences. Good, you take more time to continue with the next sentence. And the last one. What happens to your intonation when you see an exclamation mark? Admiration or something? Okay, so when you see an exclamation mark, your intonation is supposed to change. You're supposed to show surprise or excitement. Okay, may I have the, um, the first two volunteers, Brian and Terry? Brian, Brian, what are you, Brian? I'm Brian. Okay, very good, Lisette. And Terry. I'm Terry. Very good. Go ahead. One, two, three. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I am afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before meeting night. I wish they stopped worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they explain me to help around the house. I had housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could but where else can I get free room and board? Okay, good. Nice, thank you. Any questions? Questions, questions? Teacher, what is the meaning of board? Um, eating, it's an expression, room and board, that means house and food. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody else? No? Okay. So I'm going to assign you to work in pairs and practice this conversation. So if I work with Juan Jose, I'm going to be Brian and he's going to be Terry. When we finish read it, reading, he's going to be Brian and I'm going to be Terry. So the idea is that everybody gets the chance to read the whole conversation. Are the instructions clear? Yes, yes, it yes. yes it All right, here we go. Right there.
burn so difficult? So why don't I just move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get a free room and board? I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Out. Hey, I wish I could, but where else I can get free on board? Because okay. no se lee la última parte. Board, yes. Board. Are you better, Saira, than yesterday? Uh, so, so, teacher. Uh, Taking uh, medicine? Yeah, yeah. A lot of medicine. Okay. But uh, I am. I am better. Good. Thank you. Good, good to hear that. Parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'll stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. Mm. I have finished, teacher. Okay. So you finish uh, reading? Finish. Yes, teacher. In this moment, yeah. I only, only translate the conversation with my. With Plasma. Clara, okay. All right, good. Okay. So, are you still living with your And they expect me to help around the home. I am head, I am head homework. I was like, why is so difficult? So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where can, where else can I get from the um, board? Board. Board. Okay. Now the I change? am right. Yeah. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like leave it at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they stopped worrying about me.